good morning good evening everyone so we are going to see the azure devops quick bytes right so as the name indicates quick bytes in the sense like the video will not be more than five to ten minutes so it can be a quick reference for someone who wanted to just look into certain references of how to connect azure devops with github and how do i set up the self-hosted agents how do i set up the uh, virtual machine skill sets how do i link key vault with azure devops how do i do a service hooks how do i do a service connections and how do i use an azure cli and how do i create a deployment group how do i create a task group how do i enable the auto redeployment triggers so all these are quick bytes of azure devops so that it will be easy for someone who works on azure devops on day to day basis to just have a quick look into this video for 5 to 6 minutes and then quickly solve their issues on the day to day activities right let's jump on to the series 1 so this uh, is the first uh, episode of <coughs> azure devops quick bites in this episode what we are going to look into is to import right import the code from github to azure devops so azure devops uh, on the shortcut they will call it as azdo or some people might call it as ado so these two can be used to represent azure devops right so what are we going to do now is like we have a code in github right and we are going to create <coughs> a project in azure devops and inside the project we have an azure repository so this is an azure repository so we will try to import right from github into azure devops and we will see whether the commit histories the list of branches and everything that is there on azure devops sorry that is there on github is being captured into azure devops right so let's jump on to that and we will see how it goes right so this is my github and inside this github i have this hello world as a sample program so this is a java based maven application so where you can see i have a master branch okay and <coughs> i have 10 commits and other things which is there on this particular aspects of this particular code and everything right now i want to take this entire source code from the github and i want to import it into azure devops so to log into azure devops we generally use dev.azure.com and we generally create our own organizations and everything under an organizations you can create multiple projects so what i'm going to do now is like i'm just going to create a sample project called as import dim right and then i'm just clicking on create so the project will be created in less than uh, 10 seconds right so this is the project that has been created under the project you will have all these aspects called boards repositories pipelines test plans and artifacts if you have any doubts on these things you can look into my az400 series where would have, i would have explained each and every aspects of this in the detail right so now our interest is towards repositories when you click on the repositories you can see the repositories empty we need to add some code so you have an option to clone this empty repository in your local machine and then push the code via vs code or cli or you have an option to push an existing repository from the command line as well or you have an option to import a repository right in our case i want to import a repository so i'm clicking on import and what type of repository you have whether you want a git repository or a tfpc which is team foundation server repository so mine is a git repository i want to give a clone url so i'm going to this github and i'm clicking on this option and i'm copying the url of my github code and i'm coming back to azure devops <coughs> i'm pasting this code since this is a public repository right you don't need to give a username and password 
but if it is going to be your private repository then it requires your username and password over here so you just need to click on requires authentication and you need to give the username and password but mine is a public repository so you don't need that when you click on import what happens is like you can see the import is trying to start from github into azure devops and this might take at least like 15 to 20 seconds depending upon your code and my import is completed since my code is less the import is faster and automatically you can see <coughs> the entire code whatever i have it over here is now being imported into azure devops and you can go to the commits and you can see list of all the commits that has happened till all this frame of time which means all your old history of commits is also getting imported automatically and you can see the branches at present there is only one branch which is a master branch and this is the commit that has happened and if there is any tags that will also get imported right? so this is how you can easily try to import from other repositories into azure devops let it be github let it be bitbucket let it be mercurial whatever the git repositories it is you can try to easily import from other repositories into azure devops as easy as possible if you have any doubts or if you want to need to explain any of the other things please feel free to write the comments i will be happy to explain you guys anything right thank you we'll see you into the next episode